Hello. Today, my name is Sheikh Fabiji. I am from Geo Africa, Environmental Management Consultant. I come today to introduce you to Idrisi software. Idrisi is one of the most versatile raster based GIS software. It has the capability of doing a lot of image processing and has a lot of uh, image analysis uh, capabilities. It's a, very, it's a very robust raster based GIS and it has some form of vector based component. So if you open Idrisi, I'm using the latest version of Idrisi software, which is uh, TerraSat Geospatial Monitoring and Modeling. And uh, it is very, very good for researchers or people who are engaged in modeling uh, activities in, Idrisi, in, uh, in GIS or spatial dimension. So once you launch Idrisi, the interface will be a little bit different from the other version of Idrisi, but the component are the same, the modules are the same, the sub modules are the same, the sub menus are the same, and menus are the same. So we have the file, Idrisi GIS analysis, image processing, land chain modeler, habitat and biodiversity modeler. These are different, 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 different uh, research based and uh, model based uh, modules. But if you want to, but we also we also have um, different buttons which are shortcuts to the menus and sub menus of the uh, of the business interface. So if you want to open or you want to launch or you want to open the raster base, uh, raster data or vector data, then you can use any of these uh, any of this uh, platform. So we have. Uh, Display launcher. Display launcher will open for you either a raster layer, or vector layer, or map composition layer. And on this side of the address of the palette, the palette, you can open your map as a default palette or NDVI or address qualitative or quantitative or grayscale. Grayscale means black and white or shapes of gray, gray color. So in this case, um, Idrisi comes with some sample data, example data. We have Lancer, some Lancer data, some uh, the data terrain modeling data, then data elevation modeling data. We have some form of uh, vector data. We have some form of uh, high resolution uh, images. So you can use any of them to practice and to get familiar with processes for GIS analysis. But today we want to look at two items to how to display image, how to zoom, how to move around images, how to check the tonal values of images, and how to do first color composite of images. So as I said before, the IDC has a lot of data in the tutorial uh, folders that comes as we install the, the IDC it comes with those uh, data sets and data sets uh, can be assessed. So uh, we, are, we are going to, address, we are, once you click on this button, it gives you all the files. Since you have selected that, you, you have elected that you want raster layer. So it, it will take you automatically to the folder that contains raster data. And some of these data, are they are going to work on this uh sierra <clears throat> sierra is actually lancer data that contain band one to band seven of lancer thematic mapper so we are going to look at let's say let's look at sierra one and once we click on it we want to use the default display that's lancer band one of banda so you can go again to open Syria 2, or let's say Syria 3, and then it gives you band 3 of Banda. Let's go again to, uh, let's pick Syria 4, and then it gives you all this, this band, band 4, band 3 of Lancer TM, band 1 of that. You know, 
Lancer comes with different bands, seven bands. Lancer thematic mapper came with seven bands. And uh, these bands are looking at the earth surface at different electromagnetic windows. So, but if you combine these images, you are able to, you are going to get a better rendition of the of the of the, of this of the study area or the project area but one thing you can do is that you can zoom you just roll your button or you use any of these two to zoom out or zoom in and as you zoom in you see the pixels pixel because images are formed by series of pixels you can see the pixel that made up the image we have here and you can check the values of each of those pixels pixel means picture elements each of those pixels you can check the values by clicking on them here we have the the value the pixel value is 88 and the x coordinate is this the y coordinate is this and as you see this one is 81 this is 93 and this 88 is 84 these values represent land uses, different type of land uses. And you can zoom back to the, the, the one you want. So and that's how you show different classes. Now let's go to the image composite. Composite means you want to combine these bands to get a better rendition of the area. So we can close these images and then we go to file display then you go to composite and the composite allows you to combine three bands because we have the red band we have the blue band we have the green band so you can actually combine them with different format to see to read a better rendition it is not overlay it is just that you are you are looking at those you are combining the efficiency of these images together to get a better picture of what is on the ground. So you click on, uh, let's use uh, band two as the blue band. Then let's use the green band, let's use band uh, three. And then the red band, let's use band four. That's Syria four. Then it, it allows you to give the output image a name so and then you can you can also save, save it where you want in our own case now the default place to save it the work is the tutorial folder but if you start if you keep on saving your work into the tutorial folder into to the tutorial folder we eventually clog your tutorial folder and you'll not be able to know the one that was created the images that were created from the one that was the sample or the examples put there by the vendor. So you are going to create a folder. In my own case now, I created a folder in the desktop and I call it Idrisi class. And in that place, you can now save it as a composite, Landsat composite. Composite. That's two, three, four. And you click OK. And then you can give it a title. Landsat. Landsat. Image. Composite. Band 4. Band 2, 3, 4. So you click OK. And it takes you some time. You can see. You see the band 2, 3, 4. And you can see this one gives us the first color composite. First color composite because we call it first color composite because vegetation appear red, usually in the first color composite. But first color composite gives us a better rendition. We're able to interpret it better because you can see the culture, you can see the uh, buildings, place where people are in the white tone, why the vegetation appear green. And then you have uh, uh, water bodies, uh, blue to black. So we can also have true color composite. 
when you do it in the reverse wise. And that is how you can do color composite in Idrisi. And you can do different bands to see how you can interpret. You can see that any of these images are far better. This image is far better than either of the components that were used for them. Let's look at a band. Uh, you can see that you can get more information from this. You can get more information from this than this. The same thing if you open band four that we use. And then you can also see that this image has presented a real life, this one has presented a real life information of the place than any of the combined images. You can also use this uh, image in this display launcher to launch a very high resolution images like Iconos, which is of the area, Iconos, or of, a, of a place, and that this one, the what we can detect from this is far more than what we could get from this other one. And you can also launch something like what we call uh, Ethiopia data elevation model. And this data elevation model, in which case the tonal value we have here represent elevation, not the land use that we have here. If you zoom on and then what we have here is elevation in terms of uh, feet 1320 and so on and so forth and if you click here it will give you the value here in Ethiopia the 1447 and you have here so that is the image that you can use image in typically in the in the, in the, in the Idrisi environment, and you can open factor data. Let's let's go again and see how we can open factor data. Uh, we have Ethiopia province, and which is also is a factor data. You can see as you can open images, you can also open uh, data that are factor data in Idrisi, and you can combine. Uh, if you can drape the uh, factor data on the raster data to give you a better rendition of the place. Thank you for listening.